Alrighty guys, if this is your first time watching, please consider smashing that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit me up on my Instagram page at Adam Your Dog Trainer, where I post pictures of my students on a daily basis. It is tons of fun and you guys can reach out to me directly at any point in time. Let's get to today's mashup right after the intro. Alrighty guys, welcome back once again to another episode here with Adam, your dog trainer. I am he, he is I, and I am here just for you. Today, we actually are doing a super cool mashup between Origin Puppy, one of the superfoods out there on the market, against a newcomer, well not really new, but new line of food from Blue Buffalo called Baby Blue. We're gonna go head to head, do our three hour time lapse, read through some ingredients and go forward from there. I will see you guys after the three hours. Deuces. Alrighty guys, let's dive into these ingredients. I know I normally don't do this anymore, but I just wanted to show a comparison between what is a superfood versus a regular food. So let's go ahead and bring up the Blue Buffalo Baby puppy first. Let's go ahead and bring that up. And we're just gonna read through a few of them. We're not gonna get all the way down. One thing I want you to take note to though is remember that anything that is after the salt, because salt is always 1% of the ingredient listing. That means there's less than 1% if it's after the salt. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. There you go. And uh, so we have Debo chicken, chicken meal, brown rice, oatmeal, barley, uh, Manhattan fish meal, peas, chicken fat, flaxseed, natural flavoring, dried tomato pomace, egg product, pea protein, fish oils, and then salt. So you really are not getting a lot of the carrots, sweet peas, potatoes, which you'll find more down towards the bottom. If you want to go back, you can see that. Um, you'll find those way down at the bottom. So it's less than 1% of those nutrients of the, and those products or items in the ingredients. All right, so salt, that's the trick. The trick is the salt. Let's go ahead and bring up the origin puppy and let's talk about those ingredients right here. So we have deboned chicken, deboned turkey, Atlantic flounder, cage-free eggs, whole Atlantic mackerel, chicken liver, turkey liver, chicken heart, turkey heart, whole Atlantic herring, dehydrated chicken, dehydrated turkey, dehydrated mackerel, dehydrated chicken liver, dehydrated eggs, whole red lentils, whole pinto beans, whole green peas, uh, chicken necks, chicken necks, okay. Uh, chicken kidneys, chicken fat, lentil fiber, pollock oil, whole green lentils, whole navy beans, natural chicken flavors, whole chickpeas, ground chicken bone, chicken cartilage, whole pumpkin, whole butternut squash. We haven't even touched salt yet, so we're, keep, we're gonna keep going. Um, oh, salt's the next ingredient. <laughs> My bad, sorry about that. So there you go, you know, you have a lot of that stuff before the salt. Now once again, salt is the 1%, so you wanna be above the salt, all right? So that kinda of says there's a lot of protein above and a lot of those really super foods that they're really trying to get. That's what makes Origin such an amazing food. So let's go ahead and get to the mashup and let's see how it looks after our three hours. Alrighty, let's go over to the Uppy Closey table. Alrighty guys, so here we go. We have the blue, baby blue, is what it's known as, right here. This is our origin puppy food, one fourth of a cup. And of course we do our vinegar, which is pure white vinegar, which happens to have a pH of 2.2, and very similar, not exact, but similar to a puppy's stomach pH acid. So I a good judge of how food will break down in their stomach. Alrighty, let's do our three hours. I'll see you guys after. Deuces.
Alrighty, so after our three hours, um, I went out shopping, did a few things. I'm sure a cat jumped in and out of our frame a little bit, so I do apologize about that. Can't help it. Um, so anyway, what did you see? Leave in the comments below who you think is the winner of this mashup and why. Tell me why you think this is a, a big difference. One, um, one is, is, is I want you guys to really start to take what, what I'm giving you and start try to educate me back, all right? So let's see what you guys can do in the comments below. Now, let's go ahead and look at the foods. Let's start with the, this, this one happens to be the blue. Now, two things I want you to take note to. One, the rim right here. Let me turn this light up just a dab. There we go, you can see the rim. There's bubbles and there's bubbles in the top. If I do that, you can actually see the bubbles inside there. Let's see if it will focus to it. There you go, you can actually see the bubbles in there. And then a lot of this didn't break down. I mean, we do have a nice ambery color through. We had some breakdown, but not as much as we want. Remember, we kind of want to see some breakdown or we want to see it floating at the bottom. We don't really want to see it on the top because that means there's a lot of gas and a lot of air trapped inside this food when it was cooked at a higher temperature. The lower the temperature, the longer the gas can work its way out and it makes it a little bit healthier and easier for your dog to digest. It's not a matter of better or worse, it's just easier for them to get it out of their bodies. All right, so that is kind of a problem. Let me show you a top view of what that looks like between the two foods. So you can notice that the blue has a lot of bubbles on the top and for some reason that's kind of their new thing. It's kind of a thing that they're doing. Um, all right, let's go over to this one. This is the Origin, which I am super impressed with. Um, this water is crystal clear. You can see my finger right through the back. Very few bubbles on the top. I mean, I could almost drink this. Almost. At the bottom, these are all settled at the bottom nicely. Um, really, a little bit of breakdown, not too much. I would like to see a little more breakdown, but you know what, none of it is floating. So, you know, that's, that's pretty fantastic. You know, the pros and cons here, I would say the blue buffalo did secrete a lot of gases. So we got a lot of bubbles, which that's definitely a con. Um, the pro for the blue is they have that life source bit, which then they say, they say, is separately cooked and is full of minerals and vitamins. Now, I don't know. I've only heard from the vendor that that's the way they do it. If that's proven, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Now with the Origin, we know from the ingredient listing that the Origin has literally every single food uh, broken down three different times. You have it dehydrated, you have it deboned, and then you have it straight up. So, you know, you're talking about super meats, super proteins, all sorts of different veggies, all sorts of different proteins. Um, that's the difference between a superfood and a regular food. You really see that difference in the balance. Um, so this is the puppy version for blue. It's their new line. I think it's okay. Um, I did not see any of the corn, wheat, or soy in there, which is good. I didn't see any byproducts, which is good. And um, you guys all know my opinion on the grains versus grain free. Um, I think they need to do a lot more research on that before they start throwing dog food or you know companies under the bus because we just don't know enough information about that. So, you know, I'm gonna give this one to Origin just because of the ingredient listing being such a powerful ingredient listing and the fact that the veggies were above the salt and in the blue, it was below. So that's the winner today. I'm gonna give this to Origin, but remember, you let me know in the comments below who you think was the winner and why. I will see you guys next time on Adam, your dog trainers, for our next mashup. Oh yeah, because some things happen. You guys have a great week. Still not working. <laughs>